Hey, what's up guys? This is Matt with Top Tier coming at you with another quick video here today. Um, this is going to be a shorter one. I've got some uh, big projects I'm working on coming up shortly here. So yeah, today I'm going to be ranking all of the Super Nintendo games. Now the Super Nintendo was actually my first video game console, so it was a special place for me. Um, and there's a lot of great games. Obviously, obviously it's not all the ga games, but I mean these are all the, all the great ones here. Um, at least in my opinion anyways. So we're going to go ahead and get started ranking these. Um, for our tiers today, we just have S and then A through F. Um, pretty standard there. So let's go ahead and start ranking these. The first one we have here is Final Fantasy 3. Final Fantasy 3, I did play this when I was a kid. It was okay. I never got too far in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give Final Fantasy 3 a C tier. Um, as far as the Final Fantasy games go, it's definitely not one of my favorites, um, believe it or not. So, yeah, I'm gonna give it a C tier. Uh, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger I did play, but the funny thing is I didn't play this until about 2015. Um, and when I played it, it instantly became one of my favorite games of all time. I'm talking like a top 10, top 5 type of game. So, Chrono Trigger is absolutely amazing. If you haven't played Chrono Trigger yet, go out and play it. I mean, there's many ways to play it. They have it on the DS, you can get it on your phone, you could pick up the Super Nintendo version if you really want to. Um, but yeah, anyways, Chrono Trigger, definitely an S tier title, in my opinion. Contra 3, The Alien Wars was okay. Um, didn't play a whole lot of it. I played it on the, uh, the Super Nintendo Mini, I think it was. I think it was on there, and that's where I played it. Um, yeah, it was decent. I don't have too much to say about it. Um, Fun game. SimCity. Um, the SNES version, I'm going to give it a D tier. I didn't really care for it back in the day. Um, I think probably the PC version is the way to go for this one and pretty much for all the Sims games. But uh, yeah, I think SimCity on the SNES is going to get a D tier for me. Now we have the Donkey Kong games. Oh man. Um, these are all great. All, all three of them are great, honestly. Donkey Kong 3 is the black sheep. It's a weird one. Um, but it's still a great game though, don't get me wrong. Um, there was just something kind of off about it. I can't really, I don't really know what it was. I don't really like um, Kitty Kong. I thought uh, Diddy Kong was way better. They should have just kept him in. But anyways, it's getting a B tier for me. Um, yeah, but this game is unique as far as the Donkey Kong Country games go. Um, I like the setting of it. The Northern Cremosphere is pretty unique and interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B. I think that's where it belongs. Donkey Kong Country 2. This is an S tier game, man. I just streamed this on my channel. Um, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I love the music in the game. The atmosphere is just through the roof. Uh, what can I say? Diddy and Dixie together are just such a great combo. They really complement each other. I mean, you got Diddy's speed and you have Dixie's, you know, hover ability, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, just being on the on the uh, Kremlin Zone world is awesome. There's so many great worlds in this one. Um, I encourage you to go to my channel and check out the Let's Play for sure if you haven't seen it yet. So, Donkey Kong Country 2, get an S tier from me. The original Donkey Kong Country, that is an A. Um, I love the original Donkey Kong Country. I play it probably once a year and run through it. Um, a good game. It has some great music, like aquatic ambience. That's a good one. Um, one of the best, really. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, the original, is just, it's just flawless in my opinion. Um, Donkey Kong Country 2 just took that and improved on it, so I mean, that, that's why it gets the S tier. But yeah, the original Donkey Kong Country is great. You really can't go wrong there. Next up, we have Earthbound. Earthbound, I love Earthbound. It's an A tier as well. Um, it's one that I didn't play that until I think 20, I want to say 2017. Um, and I absolutely loved every minute of it, I'm going to be honest. I, I played through it, I finished it. Um, Earthbound is awesome. What I love most about Earthbound is the music combined with the atmosphere. It's got kind of a creepy, unsettling atmosphere. It's got some really like mysterious alien music in it, which is, which is cool. Um, yeah, if you haven't played Earthbound, that's another great one. It's not on the Nintendo Switch Online service, but it is on the Super Nintendo Mini, I believe. So go ahead and check that out if you've never played it. Um, give it a try and see what it's all about. Super Ghouls and Ghosts I wasn't a big fan of. Um, I thought it was pretty damn hard, <laughs> and I like hard games. Um, I didn't get too far in this. I might have to go back and replay it, you know. Um, obviously, you guys think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But yeah, Super Ghouls and Ghosts for me is just simply a D tier. 
Kirby's Dream Land 3 was okay, like most of the Kirby games in the SNES. Not outstanding, but it was decent. I'm not really a huge Kirby fan, um, but I think the SNES ones are probably some of the strongest Kirby games. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a C. Killer Instinct, uh, I'm gonna give that a C as well. I'm not really too big into fighting games or games like this, but I'll give it a C. Uh, I think it's what it deserves. Kirby Superstar, uh, eight games in one. Uh, also a C tier, decent enough. Um, didn't really play this a whole lot. A lot of the games in it are good. Can't really say too much about it. The Mega Man, Mega Man X, the original Mega Man X, I actually loved this game when I was a kid. This game, I would always rent it from, uh, you know, Blockbuster. And, yeah, it was always a blast. Um, I loved all the different bosses. It was just fun going through the worlds. The platforming was good. Um, yeah, I love Mega Man X. Or, well, all the Mega Man X games, really, but I think my favorite is the first. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a B tier. As, long, as, as well as X2. I think X2 was pretty good, too. Um, loved it as well. It's right up there with Mega Man X. X3, I think that's also a B tier game. I think all the Mega Man X games are pretty good in my opinion. I like them. Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana is an, I think it's, yeah, I think it's an A tier game. I love Secret of Mana. Never played the remake, but um, the original um, on the Super Nintendo was awesome. Again, this is one of those games I didn't play until recently. And I think this one is awesome. I mean, you can get the collection of Mana on Switch. You can also get it on the, I think it's on Super Nintendo Mini, I believe. There's some good games on there. Um, so. Yeah, definitely, definitely check that one out. It's a good game. Super Metroid, easily an S tier. It might be my favorite game of all time. I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely an it's yeah, without a question, an S tier. Uh, Super Metroid is just legendary at this point. I mean, you can't deny that with the speedrunning scene and everything. Um, you know, it's it's such a it's such a it's a, it's a good it's a good first Metroid too. If you want to get into the Metroid franchise, I definitely recommend giving Super Metroid a go. Everything about the game is awesome. The bosses, the worlds, the atmosphere, the music is just stellar. Um, I can't say enough good things about Super Metroid. S tier, for sure. F-Zero, I liked it. Um, kind of a sh not a lot. There's not, not a lot going on in this game. It's a fun game, don't get me wrong. A lot of the future F-Zeros are better. Um, and, I, and I played this game quite a bit growing up, but it's just... Going back to it, it's not as great as I remembered, but... Uh, yeah, it started F Zero off, and I think they definitely need to remake or you know do an F Zero on the Switch. That'd be awesome. But Super Match or excuse me, F Zero for the Super Nintendo gets a C tier from me. Star Fox. Um, I don't want to give it a D tier. I'm gonna give it a C tier. Uh, it's not a lot of fun going back and playing the original Star Fox. I'll be honest. Even Star Fox Two. Um, but growing up, I thought this was this game was mind blowing when it first came out. Um, it was a lot of fun. I like, I, li I just like the map and the menu and the planet selection screen. It was cool. Um, but yeah, gosh, I don't know. There's just Star Fox 64 is just so much better. So I don't know. I, I really can't give Star Fox one any higher than a C. So that's that's where it's gonna stay. Super Castlevania 4 is all, is damn near an S tier for me, but it has some issues. Um, so I'm gonna give it an A tier. Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo is definitely an A tier. Um, the music in this game is just top-notch. I love the Submerged City one where it's got the jazz theme going on. That's pretty badass. I think the Treasury Room was pretty good too. Um, it just takes the Castlevania on the NES and steps that up to the next level. Um, so yeah, this game is easily an A tier, almost an S tier, but I think I'll leave it at A. I think that's, that's about right. Moving on, we have Super Mario, or excuse me, yeah, Super Mario All-Stars. <laughs> Probably better than uh, the new Super Mario 3D All-Stars that came out. Um, this game is great. This is an A-tier game, I think. It's got the first two Super Mario Brothers remastered. It's got the, you know, the American version of Super Mario Brothers 2. And it's got Super Mario Brothers 3, which is arguably the best game on the collection. But yeah, I was hoping they would do something like this for Super Mario 3D All-Stars, but clearly they didn't. Um, but anyways, this game is definitely A-tier. And now it's on the um, Nintendo Switch Online service, so go ahead and check it out if you haven't. The OG Mario Kart. Um... Uh, I'm gonna give it a B tier. Decent game, it just... Yeah. What can I say? I mean, it started Mario Kart. So that's good. <laughs> but it's kind of painful to go back and play nowadays, to be honest. Um, not a lot of characters. Um, it was good. I mean, I, I had a blast playing this multiplayer with my sister when I was a kid, so what can I say? 
Um, I think, yeah, I think it, I think it belongs in the B tier. It's just not, it doesn't reach these heights, but it's still a pretty good game um, on the Super Nintendo. So yeah, Mario Kart, the OG, gets a B. Super Mario, or excuse me, yes, Paper Mario, Super Mario RPG. This is a damn good game. Is it an S tier? Not quite, but it is definitely an A tier, I think. Um, this is a badass game. I already talked about it in one of my other videos, but I love how you can play as Bowser. There's just so many different characters. Bowser and Gino, those are my favorite characters in this game. Hands down. Um, and this this uh, started up for all the other Mario RPGs in the future, like Paper Mario and such. So, definitely a good game. I think it is on the Super Nintendo Mini, so check that out. I mean, if you can, you know, you can always probably emulate it or get a Super Nintendo Mini if you want to play this one. But a classic for sure. Definitely check it out. I love this game. Okay, Super Mario World is an S tier. And like I said in one of my previous videos, this is the first game I ever played, actually, as a kid. So it's definitely a very special game to me, I think. Uh, but I also think it holds up really well today. You can go and play you can go back and play this game now and still have a good time. So Super Mario World is definitely an S tier title, in my opinion. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Um, and I got a Zelda video coming out shortly here, and we'll all talk about it more, but I think a Link to the Past is definitely an S tier title on the SNES. Um, it really set the Zelda formula in stone, you know, where you do the, the three pre-dungeons and then you have the rest of the main dungeons. Um, but this is an outstanding game. It's really good. The sequel is good too, A Link Between Worlds, but I think the, the original might have it just slightly beat, um, because it's a little bit more challenging than that one. But uh, yeah, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past is definitely an A tier Super excuse me, an S tier Super Nintendo title. Um, and it's a long good company up here, so yeah, S tier for that one. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Um, this was an okay game. I, I played a hell of a lot of this game. The Baby Mario Screeching was just too much for me, I think. And I think a lot of people feel that way. Uh, but it's not a bad game. Um, I don't know, I don't really have too much to say about this one. Go ahead and check it out, it's on it's on Nintendo Switch Online and it's on Super Nintendo Mini, so. Um, not a horrible game, definitely worth your time, but just not one of my favorites, personally. Okay, so that does it for our list of Super Nintendo games today. This is where we're sitting. In the S tier, we have Chrono Trigger, Donkey Kong Country 2, Super Metroid, Super Mario World, and A Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. In the A tier, we have Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Secret of Mana, Castlevania 4, Super Mario All-Stars, and Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars. In B tier, we have Donkey Kong Country 3, Mega Man X, X2, and X3, Super Mario Kart, and Yoshi's Island. In C tier, we have Final Fantasy 3, Contra 3, Kirby 3, Killer Instinct, Kirby Superstar Collection, F-Zero, and the original Star Fox. In D tier, we have SimCity, and Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Anyways, let me get let me know what you guys' favorite Super Nintendo games are in the comments section down below. Let me know if you agree with this list or if I'm just horribly wrong and misguided. Um, you know, either way, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. Um, I've got some new projects coming out this week um, that I'm pretty excited about, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, yeah, and if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to subscribe and drop a like. It definitely helps me out. Helps me get this channel going. So anyways, thank you guys for making it this far. I appreciate it. And until next time, peace.